Sakis has lost everything. Oh, wow. So this was the kitchen. This is what's left of his home on the edge of Athens. A wreck charred and twisted by the heat of wildfires. The ripped through here, destroying everything in their path. A huge flame appeared from behind and everything melted in a minute, he tells me. There was no time to even grab any clothes. All I have is what I'm wearing. This is what he was facing. The worst wildfire this year in Greece. The people here did what they could to stop the flames, but not everyone got out in time. The body of a woman was later found in a factory behind Sakis's house. She was a friend, a colleague, a good person, dignified and hardworking, Sakis says. It's a disgrace what happened, apart from our property, to lose a human life. In the hills of Anavis, where the fire started, his anger is shared. Huge swathes of the area have been burned, homes and livelihoods lost. The fire started at around 3 o'clock on Sunday. By around 5, we had no water, this local councillor tells me. He says they saved their homes alone. As they try to rebuild, a few miles up the road, the deadly inferno seems a world away. Locals sunbathe as helicopters gather water to douse nearby flames. For many Greeks, summer wildfires have become the new normal. The loss and destruction seen here can no longer be blamed on one-off freak events. These fires are happening year after year. The lives of thousands of Greeks are being altered by climate change. The worst of the current blazes are under control, but hundreds of firefighters remain on high alert, aware soaring temperatures could bring fresh misery to Greece. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Athens.